Good evening and salami booper tibiku. This is the state news on TV Sarawa. Young and aspiring entrepreneurs in Sarawa should strive for quality and high standard of products in order to meet the demands of today's society. According to Assistant Minister for Entrepreneur and Small Medium Enterprise Development, Dato Narodin Majais, this is due to the population of Kuching City getting younger, more educated, more affluent and well exposed, and earning more income than the generation before. Therefore, they also require similar standards to those of overseas products, and entrepreneurs today should strive to meet those standards. The younger generation who has money, who are interested in the same uh, uh, area of business, they, they, they can be franchisee. They can buy franchise uh, from this kind of thing. Small stall, nice, where people can nepa, where people can uh, have a very fast food, you know, a high quality uh, a price which is different than any other price. Yeah, very nice, very spicy. So this kind of uh, service industry, service uh, a business that we want to see growing among the younger generation. He said this when officiating the launching of Canard Eat and Roll restaurant at Viva City Mega Mall Kuche. He expressed hope in seeing the service industry in Sarawak grow amongst the younger generation and reminded entrepreneurs in rural areas to also adopt these standards. The international internship exchange programs have created a bond between the East and the West which promotes better cultural understanding and in the future these ongoing programs will most likely send more Sarawakians to Europe. Minister of Tourism and Arts Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza complimented the program as unique for students from Europe to experience their one-month internship program in Sarawak particularly in the field of hospitality. He added the program, initiated by Ethos Connect International Consulting Sinan Bahad and arranged by its Chief Executive Officer Sim Ling Ling, will enable international students to have first-hand real experience of living in Sarawak. He said the first batch of the exchange program are workers from Germany, which is initiated by their government and the German companies they are working with, which will set an attachment with the companies in Sarawak. Interns from Berlin, Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg working in Germany under the, du the dual education system made a courtesy call and had a chit-chat on their experience in Sarawak with Minister of Tourism and Arts Dr. Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza at his office. One of them, Sarah Jesh from Berlin, said she loves the Sarawakian people and the uniqueness of Kuching with its diversity of culture and food. Meanwhile, Aaron Witt of Bavaria said he believes that after his one-month internship program in Sarawak, Germany and Sarawak can share and exchange cultures in the future. CEO of Ethos, Asim Ling Ling, said he looks forward to the future of this program where the exchange of culture is not just for international students to Sarawak, but also Sarawakians to the world. Well, that's all the English news updates for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Razi Ahmad for TV Sarawak, signing off.